Welcome to the Omzier Healing Sanctuary, where we give you bite-sized information for you to take in your daily life and use it. So I'm here with another wonderful friend and member of the Omzia Healing Sanctuary family, and I just allow her to introduce herself. Hello, my name is Alexandra Phoenix. I'm 29, I'm from Northern Jersey, and I work in a digital marketing agency. That's beautiful. So um, the reason why I brought you here to interview you and find out a couple of things is because I met you at an ice plunge, right, in Union City at a plant-based market that we were collaborating together with, and uh, you just showed up. You bought yourself a ticket, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and there you yeah. are. That's wonderful. Yes. So how did that happen? Um, the short version is, is I was, I had a breakup, and I was just looking for a way to um, explore and heal myself and for me, doing that comes through a holistic base. So should I work out? What can I do and how can I get support? Mm -hmm. So I literally Googled, I want to be cold in a holistic fun way. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, make me cold on purpose. <laughs> and you guys popped up, wow. which was really funny because um, I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, <laughs> good search engine on your end. <laughs> good keywords. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I saw it and it was literally the next day. Mm. And I was like, Oh no, I have to do this. Like oh. it just showed up in front of me. Right, and right. I jumped in it's and I like, came in. Yep, the door opens. Step yeah. in, step in. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Just you know? go. Just leap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. It was great. So so maybe you could walk us through a little bit of how the whole scenario played out. Like when you got there and the breath work. Let's kind of start with that. How was that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So uh, in the very beginning, I came really early because I was really nervous about the location. If I got there right. So I came in a little bit anxious and then the minute I walked in, you were super friendly. Mm -hmm. Everyone was so nice and I, I got to like settle. I was like, oh, this is like super safe masculine energy. Like, oh no, you're good. Just get right, like sit over here, have your mat. You've rolled everything out. You're super kind. <laughs> so I got you. to relax and um, immediately it's my like habit to want to help out. Like, hey, can I help out? What do you need? And you're like, no, it's okay. We got it. Relax. Right, right. When everyone came in and we were getting ready to get started and we did the breath work, yeah. I was familiar with breath work. Mm. I just started doing the Wim Hof breathing literally a week before. Mm. Like I discovered it, mm. I tried it, and I felt a little bit strange, but I loved the feeling. Mm -hmm. So when I knew we were going to do breath work, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I had an idea because I was doing it at least seven days prior. Mm -hmm. So we did six rounds, I think. Mm -hmm. or, That's right, about that much. Yeah, about six, six to eight, yep. seven mm -hmm. rounds. Yep. And I, by the seventh, I'm sorry, by the fourth and fifth round, I felt really etheric mm. yeah i never had that experience before i had mm. um like a nice visualization mm -hmm. of walking through a field and feeling really loved and being part of a community in this in this visual it was very strange i've never had that before wow. you know i was like this person who was part of a beautiful community and i was all about that experience like i don't know what was taking me and right. then when we came out i came out like i had another life Wow. It was very strange. I, wow. It was weird for me, yeah, but it was yeah. amazing. Breath work is, is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. Like I've had some sessions too. Like I just go so far and so deep into a beautiful place. I don't know whether I'm breathing in or out or holding it. Like yeah. I'm just in this other place. It's just incredible. Yeah. Beautiful. Breath work is a really phenomenal experience. Mm -hmm. It's exceptionally unexpected. Like who would have thought that your own breath mm -hmm. could take you somewhere? Exactly. You know, you think it's exactly. something external. Yeah. Yeah. And then in turn, you're just breathing and mm. something happens to you. You just go somewhere. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's beneficial for you in, in, in your physical nature. Also, it helps to alkaline your body. So if you tested mm -hmm. your blood at that moment, when you came out of breath work, you would see that, you know, you're not so acidic like really? you normally are. Yeah. Wow. Which, you know, m most sicknesses like 85 or more percent of most sicknesses come from inflammation and that come from our body. It was just mm -hmm. too acidic. Come from it. the foods we eat and stuff like that. Got it. But what about the ice plunge now? Let's okay. get into that. Tell me. The what, ice plunge yeah. I was really nervous about. Because uh, just before, when I, on my way there, I was listening to Andrew Huberman, who is this, um, he's a, a researcher and scientist on YouTube. And right. he, 
He's friends with people like uh, Lex Friedman and Joe mm -hmm. Rogan. They right. talk a lot about right. just biology and how to hack the body right. and the science behind okay. it. Yeah. So I was listening to him literally 30 minutes before I was getting like, to figure out what I was going <clears> to <throat> expect. Mm -hmm. And I found out that if you consciously put your body in stress, then it helps your body be able to handle stress on a day to day. When things are happening to you and you can't control, you're calmer because you're choosing cold stress specifically right. or any kind of stress, but it's a choice that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I can choose to mm -hmm. put myself mm -hmm. into this. I just had to right. remind myself to, I'm consciously choosing this, you yeah. know? So I went in, we were all together. Everyone was super sweet. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. went over, we got the ice and we started pouring it in. And I was yeah. just like, yeah. Yeah. um, yeah. I don't know what to expect, but let's go, <laughs> let's, let's do this. I'm here, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario in my bathing suit, let's do this. <laughs> and I think, I was the first one to go. Yeah, I think that's I right. Went. That's right. You are the first yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, let's just get this over with. Like, like, what's the worst that could happen? I cry and, you know, mm -hmm. like embarrass myself. These people seem pretty safe. Right. right <laughs> so right, right. I went in and of course the shock of the cold hits you mm -hmm. and you, you feel your body trying to like, <laughs> yeah. and try yeah. to jump itself out. It's trying right. to save itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I remembered partly when you were introducing and explaining exactly. the cold plunge, mm -hmm. like, follow your breath mm -hmm. always remember you can go into the breath and if you need to get out mm -hmm. get out mm -hmm. and no one's stressing you to be there for the full time length mm -hmm. and i also remembered on my drive it was a you have to consciously choose this level of stress mm -hmm. so i did that mm -hmm. started breathing and then i started cracking up yeah which yep. i think everyone yep. has <laughs> known me for at this point just <laughs> laughing at cold plunges that was great everybody we still talk about that <laughs> like get that girl like she just started laughing out loud like what <laughs> I don't know. It gave me a dopamine rush. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I researched later that like you could get a dopamine rush. You or do. You could, you so do. I just started cracking you up. You do. You do. Oh God, it made me feel better afterwards when I Googled it. I'm like, why did I laugh? Yeah, I yeah. Cold? It does. It gives you a rush. In fact, I've learned in our studies too that that um, you get a, a boost of a dopamine higher than doing a line of cocaine. Three hundred times more. Wow. Yeah, and it lasts. It's more longer lasting than cocaine. Mm -hmm. And cheaper, too. And, uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Not that I know. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's beneficial for you in that area. And then for me, like that dopamine rush, I, it, it carries on like for days. Yeah. When I first did it, it was like two weeks in it. I was like, I still feel like electric, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And I felt exceptionally clear, mm -hmm. you know, like, and mm -hmm. I felt calm. Mm -hmm. I felt really calm. And then after I started taking cold showers mm -hmm. and really putting myself through conscious stress. Like I, I've been an athlete most of my life. I've done uh, quite a few sports like volleyball, track and field, and I've done that at the same time mm. year round for mm. like maybe mm. four or five years. Okay. You know, and then okay. afterwards I went to physical training, kettlebell mm. workouts, all that stuff. So I can consciously put myself in forms right. of stress. Right. And then choosing this as well, it's a whole new level. It's like mind mm. to mind. It's not you forcing your body to do something mm -hmm. and having mm. to focus on proper form. It's right. you're in the cold by yourself. Right. And all that you have is is you. You have to convince yourself. Right. And then in the breath, besides the laughing, right. but in the breath, I found a a quiet, stable aspect of myself. Mm. And I just felt really grounded. Mm. And when I came out of it, anything that happened afterwards, right. I was good. Yep. Like any stress yep. came at me, I would be right. really calm. I'd be stoic. Right. And right. I'd be like, okay, right. what do I need yeah. to do? Exactly. What happened? Exactly. And I would continue continuously do that through um cool showers mm -hmm. there's so many benefits so many to mention but those are some of the key ones right there mm -hmm. it's that calmness of mind you know when life comes to you with all these other crazy things like we like to say you know you want to remain the eye of the storm yeah you know where everything is just going crazy around you like you just you see everything you notice everything you clear of mind you don't you know react right away and yep. and, and, and it clears your that brain fog you see when people are just walking around with, oh, I forgot this, and oh, I'm so this, I'm that. Like, oh, you know, you might want to clear that up. Mm -hmm. you know? And it made me super grounded in my body. Mm. Like, sometimes people are so in their head that they're not even conscious what their body does. Right. Um, yeah. Or they're just so busy, like, working that they're just caught up with their surrounding world. You're right. When you do, <clears throat> at least in my experience, when mm. I do the cold plunges and I do the mm. cold showers, I felt... You feel your body. Right. Like, you're right, cold. Right, <laughs> you know, right, like, right. It's freezing. There's ice in yep, the back. Right. There's no doubt about there's, that. No, yeah, you're you like, I'm in my body. That. I cannot go in my head and <laughs> right. be like, what? What tasks right. I have yeah, to do today? Exactly. I have to right. no. no. You And you feel those two minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're you're there. And yeah. it's just super present. And I just mm -hmm. apply it with everything else. Super present when That's I talk great. to people. Yep. Super present when yeah. I'm working. And when I need to 
stop, mm -hmm. I stop and I move on. Maybe super calm. Yeah, that's uh, they attribute that to healthy growth hormones. And you can get mm -hmm. healthy growth hormones through other things too, like meditation and fasting. You could get it like that, but this is like the complete package. That's yeah. why we say this is great. All those other things are great too. You know, we push those things, yoga and all of those type of mind body connection stuff. But the ice, it's like right here, mm -hmm. right now. And, and, and you're, you're causing your body to be stressful in that sense. Mm -hmm. Other than like, oh, I got to pay the bills and those relationships mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Those mm -hmm. are long term stresses that they just stay in your head, you know. Yes. But the short ones help you to deal with those things. They go, yeah. hey, it's OK. Like, yes. I'm going to get the bills paid and the relationship, it's going to work out yeah. or something is going to happen here. I don't have to be crazy. You because know? you're putting conscious choice into it. You're mm. living, you're being conscious as you're stepping into the ice. Mm. You're being conscious as you're doing the breath work. Mm. You're being conscious when you do the workout. Right. You, know, you have right. to be very present and then you just transfer that mm. to yeah. other things. Yeah. And, and then the crazy thing, like you mentioned about some of those uh, activities that you were doing in, in athleticism, mm -hmm. but like with the ice, you're just sitting there. <laughs> it's not here like with the ball and the run and the movements. No, it's yeah. just you're in there. Stay right there. Don't move. <laughs> just try to breathe <laughs> and, and control breathe your breath and, as and you're trying to hyperventilate. Yeah, you know, it's great for depression. People that have gotten into it, you know, and come out like, my God, you know, oh my, you helped me so much, man. I was so depressed so much. And then um, there's the, the brown fat activation too. Mm -hmm. This is the brown fat that helps us to burn things, you know. So you think of like oil in a candle. Right. Mm -hmm. It just it, it's it's that fuel mm -hmm. that keeps it burning your your, your core, you know. Yes. So if you want to lose weight or all of the fat, you get into the ice water and that yes. helps you there. It, that boosts your metabolism, too. Mm -hmm. You know, tons, tons. And also, like, you know, I think about my daily routines every day, you know, so like I'm not in a ice plunge all day. Like, but I do do the cold showers. Mm -hmm. Most of my showers are cold. I don't take warm showers now. I'm just at that point right now. So well, it, I mean, it's, you've been it's, leading it's us for a bit, while. Exactly, so. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while to work up to that, you know. But but what about you? What are your habits during the day? Like when you wake up, what gets you like motivated and moving? And like, what's the purpose? That's mm -hmm. your why? So for me, I believe in rituals, but I believe in being flexible because there's some days you wake up and you have some things that you really have to do and it's really pressing. But in general, I have a base routine that I always go back to no matter what. And I can adjust if something happens that day, but mm. go right back to. So mm. I work, I wake up, I immediately give gratitude, you know. So for some people, it's prayer. Some people, it's meditation or whatever. I just give gratitude to everything. Happy to be alive. Happy for everything. Happy for a new day. Thank you for the challenges because I come out stronger. I'm calmer. I'm cooler, mm. you know, from, <laughs> you know, from, my, from everything. I like that. And just like a couple couple minutes doing that and then i'll either first work a uh, workout and i believe in doing hit workouts kettlebell workouts and for sure mobility therapy like your everything is connected and although people love working out and building nice muscles you also have to take care of your body and you have to stretch and you have to make sure that if you have tightness somewhere you have to loosen those muscles so everything else can work functionally Besides just when you work out, when you live life, when you're walking, if you're sitting a lot, there's things to do. So right. I will do my workouts. Um, then I will meditate for 15 minutes. Mm. And then I will do um, the breathing method and I go take a shower. Mm. That's, mm. that's my morning. Right. And then throughout right. the day, I attempt to be as conscious as possible. Mm. If Since I do a lot of like driving for my work and I have a lot of like clients that I'm working on and things I have to be cognizant of, I try not to be lost in the fray. I try to organize as best as possible. So mm -hmm. I'm not a mess, right, you know, right, and right, I can right. help people to the best of my ability. <clears throat> right. And that's my why. I want to mm -hmm. be able to serve my clients as best as possible through also helping me. I can help them through helping myself. So right. I have my day set. And then at night, um, <clears throat> I basically just stretch pretty quickly. I know where I'm generally really tight, where I get tight. So I focus on those areas first. Mm. I'll maybe break up some of the muscles through either using a tool to massage out the muscles or a ball. Mm. And then I just get into my meditation and then I put on my headphones and I listen to subliminals mm. or mm. Um, like hypnotherapy. Okay. And I fall asleep to that. Oh, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. great. That's great. That really charges you for the next day right there yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. To keep you 
grateful, waking up with a grateful heart. And I can see that in all the things that you do. I don't know you for a long time, but like I can see that everything you do is with such passion and like with such an open heart and, and you, you, you go for things like you, your energy, like you ask me like, wow, what do you mean about my energy? It's like, yeah, you don't see it. Like, you know, <laughs> you're just so energetic and, and, you, and you come with such life to everything that you do, mm. you know, and such projects you're helping us with too. And, and we appreciate you so much. Of course. You know? Thank you. Of course, you're thank welcome. You. Like, of thank course. you for everything that you've done. Of I'm course. super excited about life in general. Like, everyone has had really intense things and adversities in their lives. Mm -hmm. And for me, my adversities, I learned to really appreciate them. Because mm. after the fact, I became more <laughs> calm or I developed a skill set that came out of it. That at the time, you're like... You're in hell. You're just like, right. oh my God, why is right. this happening? And right. you step out and you're like, whoa, right. I know how to handle things. I can see things better. Right. Right. I can discern better. Like mm -hmm. you, it's a gift in disguise. Not to say if you're in a bad situation or something that's happening, you just stay in it. Just things sometimes come up and things happen and you make mistakes. And it's going to happen as part of the contrast of life. Mm -hmm. But when you step out of it, there are things that you can learn from it. Mm -hmm. You can grow from it in some kind of way. Right. So right. I absolutely believe in that. Right, right. That for, for me too, I have to say also that these practices and this lifestyle for me, because this is just my lifestyle, I'm, I'm happier this way. Mm -hmm. I can be the other way because I've done the other way for a long time, but mm -hmm. you don't have to keep doing that. No. Like I don't have to, you know, keep binge watching Netflix. So like I've watched enough TV and movies to know the end of that story, yes. you know? And then another thing I also like to tell people is that you know, I am the star of my own action movie mm -hmm. with the soundtrack playing in the background. Mm -hmm. Like main character I, energy. I'm the main, yeah, and I'm the director too, and yeah. I'm the producer, and yeah. and I'm the editor. Like yes. I'm all of those things. That's how I truly feel. Yes. I walk around like that. Yeah. So sometimes my energy, you know, I don't know if you noticed too, because I'm very like extrovert too, right? Mm -hmm. You know, my energy is so high sometimes, like I try to lower it a little bit because, you know, it, it could be a little off putting sometimes for people that nah. are just not on that vibration, you know? Nah, just be yourself, yeah. man, no yeah. matter what. I mean, like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, that's how you were with me. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Once I feel that energy too, yeah, I'm, I'm all out like that because mm -hmm. I'm more happier like that. Yeah. And I also, you're aligned. And I think most people, they just have habits that they've just done since they were little. Mm -hmm. and they're stuck in that rut and yeah. they haven't questioned it right say am i happy mm -hmm. okay well i'm not happy mm -hmm. and am i doing work that i believe in no mm -hmm. i'm not doing work that i believe in i'm feeling really depressed or sad most of the time mm -hmm. why you know like the darkness gives you a lot of really good information of what you need mm -hmm. what's missing um what type of life you really do want to experience mm -hmm. and it's your goal to mm -hmm. question it understand the darkness within you mm -hmm. feel it let it run through you and then take action from the knowledge that it gives you. Not if you're angry, blow up. Is right. you're angry, sit with it. Like feel the fire. Right. Maybe you're, and then start questioning it. Maybe you're angry because you keep, you don't hold boundaries. You have porous boundaries. Maybe you're angry because you keep mm. betraying yourself or you keep breaking your own promises. You're angry or you're sad or you're something for a reason. Mm. Like do the internal questioning, right. you know, question right. yourself why. Right. And it will give you information <clears throat> and then you can take action from that missing need, meet your needs. Right. You can never, like, you can never unneed a need that you have. It's mm -hmm. going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, it makes me think about some of the things that I, <clears throat> at this point, like I'd like to tell people, you know, <clears throat> like we like to tell people that we're not here selling anybody, no snake oil. And I like that. Like, mm -hmm. if you like what we're doing here, come on through. If you don't like it, it's okay. We're not trying to force people or trick people into coming, you know? Yeah. But what, what some of the things you can only imagine what I really like to tell people, like, you know, wake up, like, come on, bro. You're better than this. Yes. Like you're strong, bro. You, you're letting that get you down. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I just really just almost want to just jump on people like that. Mm -hmm. you know? But, but you can also just... see as part of their journey, of course, you know, of and, course, of course, and yeah. you have to just be their guide and be like, mm -hmm. no, no, let's, let's do it through jumping in the cold plunge, mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. yourself. You right, know, right. maybe you have, a lot of darkness and you're afraid to even look at yourself mm -hmm. okay let's do it through the cold just two minutes can you be with yourself right. can you like really give yourself presence right and then you're like oh i can do that yeah and yeah. i can sit with myself and mm -hmm. i can be actually alone and then it just evolves from there through practices and tools you put in place on a daily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that just builds your internal self-trust for sure for sure like there's been some people that have come through also 
like even that day when I met you, there was uh, one uh, person that got out. And that's that's typical. Sometimes mm -hmm. people get out. Like they don't make, we notice that if people can make the 20 or 30 seconds, they'll make the two minutes. Yeah. It's just that initial shock. Like your mind starts going, it starts screaming, you know, the frontal mm -hmm. lobe right here telling you, get out. You know, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Come mm -hmm. on, you're going to hurt yourself or this freezing, it's hurting, you know. Yes. But if you could just keep pushing past that, you know, but some people, they have a little struggle with that. But yeah. what I want to say is that some people have come through and gotten out and they're back on the next one. Like they show up and they're like, yo, I'm doing this no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then it just changes their life like dramatically. Yes. Oh, man, I had this uh, one girl. She started getting into MMA and all kinds of crazy <laughs> other things. Yeah. Yes, because it builds the internal yeah. self-trust. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, <clears throat> again, consciously putting yourself in stressful situations. Mm -hmm. So when things happen in life, that's stress that you can't control. Mm -hmm you're calmer and you think to yourself, oh, maybe it's from that thing. Right. And then you add another habit and you're like, oh, this is helping me trust myself in any situation. Right. So adding habits, you add tools and your ability, your central core is so solid. Mm -hmm. There, Like you mm -hmm. said, the eye of the storm, there can be anything happening right. and you are calm as a cucumber, right. you know, right. a solid boulder. Right. just like, right. uh-huh, uh-huh, right. but I know where I'm going. Right. I right. like, you can't, you can't have me waver. Yeah. Yeah. That's another big one for me too, is just like, I know who I am. I know mm -hmm. where I stand. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know me. Yes. You know? And, and before, I know there was a time when I just looked in the mirror and I didn't even know who that person was. And yeah. that was a very dark place to be, let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. But now it's like, I, I know who I am. I'm confident in whatever this is. Yeah, yes. you know, and I'm able to help people. Yeah, too. and the benefit of being lost and being in a dark time is that the unknown, you can create anything from yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. You know, and it can oh, be exceptionally sure. scary. Yes. But if you know... I can create anything from here mm -hmm. and I want to get better and I don't know how, right. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to start seeking it. Yeah. It will find you. Yes. It's like the saying yes. goes when the, um, the teacher will appear when the student is ready. Right. It's like, okay. Like I was in like Perfect. not a good space, but Perfect. I'm like, I just want to be cold on Perfect. purpose because I just Perfect. heard about it. Right. And you showed up and your thing was literally the next day. It was like, <laughs> I was, it was like 8 PM and I just Googled it Right. <laughs> and yep. you showed up and yep. it's like, 10 a.m. I'm like yeah, going. Like messages. Let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and then follow that and follow yeah, the inspiration yep. and yeah, follow cause, what. Because you could not have. You could have went, nah, I'm not ready for that. No, yeah. Yeah. And then I so, wouldn't be here talking to you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But, but thank you so much. I appreciate <laughs> you. Of course. And I'm you. looking forward for you coming to the next Ice Plunge, actually. Mm -hmm. So tell me about it. I do. Uh, and I will. Um, May 13th, that's mm -hmm. when we're having the next one. We're having a big event that day. It's the Rising Ethos. And it has to do with live music and there's other ceremonies, uh, cacao and kava, if you know what that is. It's great energetic food. It's going to be open mic and networking. There's going to be vendors here. Like this place is going to be like crowded. So awesome. tickets are already selling. Uh, but in the morning, we're having an ice plunge, the breath work with the ice. So if anybody's interested, bring them down, come on down. It'll be a great thing for you to do personally. Just that alone would help you. Mm -hmm. Um and then during the day, we're having the rising ethos. So if anybody's interested also, you know, bring a friend. It'd be a great time. Great community. Like-minded people, you know. Yeah. I mean. And community is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, getting the tools and the practices to help you build inner discipline and mm -hmm. self-trust. But also you're meeting other people who are also doing the same thing. Yes. We're all on the same journey. We're all going through stuff. But we're trying to heal together. And we're formulating bonds because everyone here is doing the same thing. It's right, not like you're right. the only one trying to improve exactly. yourself. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like they say, like you could you could throw a, a stick at somebody who's going through somebody through through something. Mm -hmm. You know, like everybody everybody around mm -hmm. you is going through something. Mm -hmm. We all need help. We yeah. All. And this, you've created such a sacred space. Sacred space. Excuse me. That mm -hmm. we trust you. You trust you and your wife. You. Just, you guys are the best. Thank you. Thank honestly. you. Thank like, you. Thank you. Um, and it. oh, of course, yeah. and you know, your wife's hugs. Of They're course, like, of course. You feel you feel so loved. Yeah. As, as an aside, but um, <laughs> thank you, you know, thank and you. that everyone here, we trust you, and mm -hmm. we trust this space, and mm -hmm. we know that everyone's on the same page. Right. We're trying to utilize tools to heal, to grow, and mm -hmm. we're doing it together. You're not yeah. alone. I love those tools that you talk about. So tell us uh, about where people could find you. Oh, okay. Yes. So you can find me on um, www.crimsonsocial.com. And on Instagram at the Crimson Social. So that's my business. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to DM me. I'm always down to chat with other people. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're open. I appreciate you. Yeah. So there you have it. Another episode in the books. 
So come on down to the Omzio Healing Sanctuary as soon as you can. That way we can just get to know each other. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you.